like, I wanted to fuck with you guys a little bit, so like, I was at the end of the line, and like, I was like standing at the end of the line like that, and because somebody was taping me, like my, my friend was taping it, and then like, fine, like people were looking at me and just kind of like, okay, I'm not racist, no, he doesn't look like that. It's just another black guy. And then finally, finally this black girl was like, I know what you're doing. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, I see what it is. Ha ha. Very funny. Like I was trying to like kidnap her daughter or something like that. Like, she took it very seriously. Are you guys excited about this shit? She was excited about this shit. Like it's very much like, oh, just so you guys know, there will be music tonight. Like there's gonna be and it's funny because sometimes I will do shit like sometimes people don't know. They don't know at all and they'll come to the show. They think it's just stand up. So they'll come to the show and then halfway through they'll be like, what the fuck is going on? Like their mind is going like, I don't like, because I get it. Like if I went to go see like Dave Chappelle and he's just like, hey guys, I just did like four to five minutes. Stand up. Now I'm just going to play the oboe for 50. <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Chris Rock on drugs. <laughs> I was so. Oh, there's some rules I want to just set up. Just like some things I've noticed while being on tour that is just kind of fun. Number one, first of all, Gambino girls are the fucking hottest girls. Fuck my girlfriend. Did you just say fuck my girlfriend? Fuck my girlfriend. Let's take a look at your girlfriend. <laughs> And I see now you're like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm, just gonna fuck I'm, girl. I'm, I'm gonna film it. I actually, it's funny, I got a phone call the other day and it was just like, it literally was just like, hey, did you fuck my girl? And I was like, hello? Yeah. He's like, seriously, I'm very frustrated right now. <laughs> he was like very understanding, but I was like, I don't think I fucked your girl, man. And he was like, all right. And he gave up, which really made me sad. Like, that was just fucked up, it's just like, but I will talk to you later. Um, but seriously, like, it is like, well, number one, like, Sarah the hottest girl ever. But like, the thing about it is, like, if you're a hot girl, you come to the show, you look great and awesome and sweet and shit, I don't want to meet your fucking fiance. I don't want to meet him. I don't want to meet him. Like, if I want to meet other, if, if I want to see other people's shit, I'll go to a museum. I really will. I don't want to meet your fiance. It's like, oh, that's like eating a cake and be like, hmm, this cake is really good. Oh, yeah, I made it for you. Oh, it's really good. Oh, I shit in it. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Oh, I just like the attention. Like, don't fucking make me a cake with a piece of shit in it. Number one, and number two, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, those are my lyrics. <laughs> no, thank you. I just, oh, the, the other rule. The other rule. Well, not. It's not a rule as much as like a lot of people after the show want to smoke with me. They want to smoke up. They want to get high with me. But like after they'll be like, oh, that was good, sad, good shit, man. You want to get high? Man? Everybody wants to be like. Everybody wants to get me hooked on drugs. Why is that like a, a badge of honor? Then I smoke because like, then I do drugs or something. Just like, hey man, you know that dude from Community? Yeah, I know. Man, I got him hooked on heroin. <laughs> really? Yeah, I did, man. I put the hook in him, man. Oh shit. Yeah, he's in street corner sucking dicks now. Yeah, it's really sad. It's really sad. He doesn't talk to his mom or anything. It's fucked up. It's really fucked up. Then it's gonna be like, oh, did you guys see that Justin Bieber movie at all? No, goddamn it. <laughs> somebody being very quiet right there. Like that, child, that girl was very quiet. I saw everybody going, no, no, no. She was like, they can't prove anything. No, I, I saw, I didn't see it, but I did see the trailer, which I thought was kind of amazing because the trailer was hilarious, wasn't that? The trailer's fun because like it shows him as, it shows Justin Bieber as a baby. He's like in his diapers and shit. And like, and then his mom is taping him, and he's just like, he's like, she's like, shut do a show for the camera. And he goes, no, no, no. And then he like goes over to a chair, and he just goes, boom, boom, bah, 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 bah. And he's like, really good. Not just for any, not just for a baby, like for anyone, like for anyone. Like, he's really good. He's in diapers, and he's playing the drums really good. And then there's 
a big like slide that comes up on the on the screen that goes, they said it would never happen. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Who the fuck saw a baby playing the drums and was like, oh yeah, a baby playing the drums, that'll never work out. <laughs> no, that'll never work out. Good looking, talented white kid, people hate those. <laughs> that never works out. Justin Timberlake, all of the presidents except for one, yeah, never works out. <laughs> Never works out. Somebody saw a baby playing drums and said that shit. What's gonna work out? I heard you guys screaming. Was that because of Pootie? <laughs> Fucking Pootie. He tried to open eye and Pootie like right across the street. And I was pissed. I was like, come on, man. This is a LA show. He's like, no, nah, man. I got my own shit. It's fucked up. I could have come in your show and just fuck shit up. He said. What? We're not too great? She's filming a movie. Put your dick back in your pants. <laughs> you would always talk to me about Alison Brie like I don't know they want to fuck her. Like I'm just like, oh, they probably want to just have a conversation about books. <laughs> so just like, yeah, so you talk to Alison Brie, tell her I really like her work. Like he's not at home. Like, <laughs> 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 I know, I know, that I know, I that's what that joke was about. I know you want to put Allison Bree. What does this shit say? Van City, Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver. Right. April, I do, that just passed, sir. I just did the show there already. So your shirt got a date. <laughs> out of date. Like, yeah, I, I, no, that show was pretty crazy. That show was like, it's pretty much like this, but I'm pretty sure you guys are going to blow them out a lot. Oh, it was crazy. It was pretty crazy. The one weird thing about that show was, there was this dude outside, like, afterwards, who was like, oh my god, Josh Gambino, yo, can I take a picture of you or something like that? It was two weird things. First thing, he was like, can I take a picture? I was like, oh, sure. So I was like, can I get a picture? He was like, no, just you. He didn't want to be in it. And then he was like, oh man, you guys, like my whole band was with me. He was like, you guys are so fucking awful. You guys are awful. You guys are so hot. And then he just walked away. And it wasn't, you know, and, he, and it wasn't, I'm telling you, it wasn't sexual. It wasn't like, he wasn't gay. He was just like, that was just like a thing he said. And that a thing in Vancouver? Like, if you say like, oh, you, like, that's hot. Like, is it? We're liberal as fuck, man. <laughs> that's not liberal. <laughs> You can't pass a bill and be like, I know it's super hot. <laughs> like, it's not, that doesn't count as liberal, I'm just saying like something's hot. Like, uh, we know what's good, we know what's good. You guys know what's good. Oh, okay. Uh, you didn't answer any of my questions. <laughs> you just said a bunch of shit. <laughs> is, that, is that a term they use in Vancouver? I like to drive! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't ask you that. No, lemonade! <laughs> You don't care about hockey. You just give it, are you like a plant from Canada? Like, like, you spread the gospel about Canada? Like, there's not as much ice as you guys think. We had black people there this year. Oh my God. <laughs> I, um, no, I like to hang out with the, the community guys a lot. Like, I miss them a whole bunch. Like, we, don't, like, we don't get to see each other as much as we used to. But, like, we used to go to the. That wasn't a sympathy thing, like, I'm still getting paid to hang out with them. It was a sympathy. But it was like, because we, we went to, like, we went to Mardi Gras together, like, two years ago. That shit was, like, amazing. It was awesome because everybody noticed, like, Ken. Like, that was a good, like, because, like, he was in the hangover. Everybody noticed Ken. Like, gir drunk, girls who were, like, drunk and, like, from, like, who had been drinking since, like, 9 a.m. It was, like, 10 p.m. And they were stumbling and they'd see Ken and be like, ah! So out of it, he was so drunk, and like people, people get like upset, like, cause like I know like he's got a lot of flack where, he, cause like I remember like there's some like there's one Asian dude who was just like gives a lot of shit cause like he like jumped out of things, like oh he's playing the Asian stereotype, fuck that, he played the Asian stereotype, when he jumped out they gave him like a prosthetic small penis, gave him a prosthetic small penis so he could play the Asian stereotype, and Kevin like hey dude, that's my real penis, <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> Like, <laughs> so like we were chilling and like we were hanging out in Mardi Gras and we saw 
Um, I was with the, Ken knows everybody, so like Ken, like this guy was like, yo, come to our party, this will be really cool. So Ken like goes to this party, we go to this party, and Reggie Bush is there. Like Reggie Bush, and I was like, oh, Reggie Bush, this shit, I was talking to him, he was a cool dude. And like at the time, I was like wearing my glasses. So I like had my glasses and stuff like that, I was talking to Reggie Bush, he was like, hey man, can I see your glasses? <laughs> and I was like, sure, like he wore his glasses. And then like the really popular song at that time was Lemonade by Gucci Mane. Like that was a really popular song. Gucci Mane, like, like, like that. So like everybody be like, oh Reggie, this is your song. And he always he do the Reggie dance, which is. <laughs> that. And the Reggie dance isn't two minutes or five minutes. It's eight days long. <laughs> he would do that literally forever. Like, it would just come on like... Forever, forever. So I might go have my glasses, and I feel kind of naked without my glasses at this point. So I'm just like, oh, I don't really want my glasses. So I go up to him, I'm like, hey, can I have my glasses back? He's like, oh, sure, man, give them back. And then, like, you know, I go over and talk to my friend, and he's just like, hey, man, can I have those glasses? Like, sure, he takes them back. But <laughs> so he's just fucking bouncing around shit. So the night goes on, the night goes later and later and shit, and then, like, I'm like, well, we're going to get out of here. So I go up to Reggie, and I'm like, hey, man, can I have my glasses back? He goes, hey man, how much for the glasses? <laughs> and I was like, uh, hey man, and he like goes in his pocket, not his wallet, his pocket. Like he just has hundred dollar bills in his pocket, like, uh, uh. He just gets rid of them, them in his pocket, and he puts them out, and I'm like, hey man, I don't need your money. And he goes, hey man, baby, we all got money. <laughs> What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Like only rappers and football players get to do that when they say crazy shit. And people are like, oh, you, you deep, man. You deep. He literally could have said, hey, baby, we all got shoes. And it would have made the exact amount of sense. Like, oh, I never thought about that way. We all got shoes. Which is, first of all, both of those statements are untrue. Not everybody has shoes. You can't go to Somalia and be like, hey, we all got money. They'd be like, no, we don't. I fucking ate dirt this morning. <laughs> You don't have money, Reggie. <laughs> but anyway, he grabs me by the shoulder and goes, Hey, baby, we all got money. You wanted the glasses. I got the glasses. I gave you the money. We hit the, you paid for the glasses. Hey, we all got money. <laughs> and then we just fades away. We <laughs> just fades away from the party. And I'm just standing there with no glasses holding a hundred dollars. like... <laughs> Walk up the booty, and he's like, Come in. Reggie Bush just stole my glasses. <laughs> and he just looks at me like, grabs out my hand, like, Well, spread out that strip, bud. And, like, <laughs> and like, it was funny because, like, I got scared at first. I got, like, literally, I got my first flat dance with a hundred. I was like, Oh, that'll be.